Hello, all you wonderful crafty people today. I want to show you my paper clip for October. I am running behind, but you know, I have a theme every month and October's theme was shopping. So I have come up with this, which is this cute little uh, coin purse that has uh, some crafty items like I would go shopping for a fake $20 bill and some sale tags on it. So cute. So let's get that put together. I have a really messy uh, silicone mat here. A while ago, I did a video showing this little coin purse that I had made, uh, an SVG file for. And it is, uh, I made it for a Rolodex card because it had the holes here, it was bigger. But I've also uh, have it as a card version just to make cards. So I shrunk it down for this project. I made a fake $20 bill. Um, I'm going to give you a free download so you can have these fake $20 bills yourself. And I just made a little tag sign here and I made uh, extras to back them up because I was afraid they were going to be a little too floppy once they were on the paper clip because you know, they're gonna, they're dangling. I wanna make sure they were a little stronger. Now, I'm not really sure that I needed to. Yeah, I guess I did. So I have two of these so that I can insert the items inside there. But first, we need to go ahead and make sure that, see, these are offset because they look like those little um, twisty balls that you have on there. So I want to make sure they're not lined up exactly the same way and that they are offset. And so I'm going to glue this on there. I just Something just occurred to me, though. Let me put this one on and then I will pause because I want to distress this. I have found that these items are just too easy to, to not see well, you know. And the other thing that I did was when I cut this um, on the Silhouette Studio, I think they've shortened their name to Silhouette Studio, I got too big of a, an offset around it, I think. So once I glue these together, I'm going to trim that down a little bit, just fussy cut it. Usually when I do a print and cut, I add an, a little bit of an offset because I, I want to make sure that, I know sometimes there's a print error and it ends up uh, cutting into the actual design. So I like to give it a little bit of wiggle room there with an offset, but this was way too much. I'm just trimming the top part because you won't see the offset on the bottom. Okay. And I know that this actually has to be, let's see. I want to be able to see the $20 bill there, so the 20. So let's do this. Is that going to work? It looks like it will. But you can see what I did this one. I glued it together and then I realized I wanted the 20. All the glue and stuff, these products are inside the two pieces of the coin purse, but I glued the 20 to the back. But now I like to have that little bit of separation there. So what I think I'm going to do is give some really thin foam on that, just so that it um, sticks out. And I did this double-sided too, because I figured that paintbrush needed a little bit of strength under it. And I want everything to be narrow. I don't want to put them side by side or they won't look like they're fitting inside the coin purse. That works, okay. That fits my goal. Okay, now I like the $20 bill coming at an angle. So I'm going to trim this. I don't know that we actually see the black clasp part in the back. Let's go ahead and do this just in case as well. Now this is pretty easy. Um, I'm going to figure out which one I want in front, and I think I want the one with the ball on the side. These, the purpose of these in the design was because I actually applied magnets so that it would open. So, but that was on my Dex card. I'm not going to need them now. And if you want yours to open a little bit, only glue across the bottom. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do this. 
Okay, and we're just gonna glue across the bottom, but first I want to work on these sail tags. And I like putting eyelets in holes on tags, but not on a sail tag, because you know, if you're in a store, they are not going to put eyelets in their sail paper tags. So I didn't put any eyelets in there. Okay, now I'm using some of this Baker's Twine. I separated this, I'm straightening it out, and I separated this approximately in half. Fold it in half. I'll put it through my hole like that. I know I have extra, but really it's hard for me to uh, do the fine finger work of getting all this done if I don't have it long enough to work with. What I did was I draped it over the side and I glued it in place. So this is going to go in the front. Hang this one here and over the back. And then this one a little longer and to the side and over the back. So I have glue here and in the back. Now Fabri-Tac will dry uh, clear and not shiny. It'll, it will be matte. You won't see it so much, but just for a moment, I'm going to hold on to that. Trim off the excess in the back. And if you want to tack those ends down further, you can. They should be okay because I have glue at the top there. And then all I need to do is to glue the bottom of the purse down here. Okay, I can let go now. So you can glue the whole thing or just glue the bottom part. It's whatever you want. I like that just going the bottom means it can pop forward just a little bit. Now I need to look for a black button. I have a lot of little jars that I have in spice jars for buttons, but sometimes I can't find what I want. And I have this huge can of buttons, as you can see. So I need to dig in there and find a little black button. Are you a button fanatic? I, I love playing in button jars. There's something so soothing about it. I think this one's too big. That one's better. I just need to get the thread off of it. So if you're a button collector, leave me in the comments below <laughs> so we can talk about our button addictions. Also, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out Paperclip Art Group on Facebook. I will give you all those links down below, so including the file to this little coin purse digital file. So again, it is an SVG, which is a cut file. Okay, and the only thing we need is a backing for that, a paperclip. We need a paperclip blank. These are in my shop, and then we also need to put the button on, and I, on this one, I added some uh, glossy accents, or diamond glaze is what I used over the little paint things, but what I'm gonna do is get this set up first on here. You put the single loop through this in the back until it snaps. There's that. I'm gonna glue this down. Let's go ahead and put some diamond glaze on these little paint things here. So check out Paperclip Art on Facebook. We are a fun group that does a challenge every month that gives you a theme to work with. And so again, October, the theme was shopping. I think it's a really cute theme. And we give you the, all the themes listed at the beginning of the year so that you can plan ahead and we just have it in a document in the group so it's very fun and i also am going to give you a link to all of my paperclip art videos which is a lot for you to binge watch so there they are very very fun and i will just say that i think i like this one the button is really shiny uh, better than this, but they're both just super adorable. Also, I'll give you that link down below as well to the fake $20 bill that sticks out there. So enjoy. I hope you found that really helpful and 
hope you enjoy this paper clip.